is Paramore's brand new album. This is why. This is why is the sixth studio album by American rock band Paramore. It was released on February 10th, 2023. It's their first album in almost six years. All right, Eric. I feel like I really I'm really interested to know what your opinion on this album is because I have I have taken a peek to see how the internet and the general mainstream and indie music publications feel about this album mm. and I am sitting on the exact opposite of what everyone is saying. So I'm very interested <laughs> to see what your opinion on this album is. So I remember last episode where I said I cannot wait to review this album and I I'm changing that statement. Oh, okay. So um and and I you probably recall me saying that as well. Yep. Um so and I remember you saying, "Oh, I think we're going to have two different views of this." But now I feel like the more I listen to this album, the more it hurts it. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. So I liked Paramore when they first came out. Like, you know, like awesome band, right? Great female front man or front woman. And I, I thought the, the band was sick. I really like the singer, uh Haley Williams. Yeah, Haley Williams. Yeah, yeah, Haley Williams. Thought like she's got that attitude of like punk grunge and, and all that stuff. Yep. Um I was very excited when I heard that they're coming back that <laughs> they're releasing an album i was like this is gonna be awesome uh so when i first listened to it i thought this uh, this album's pretty hot like i at first was like this is awesome but i feel like i was a bit blinded <laughs> by it so okay. i have to say the first song this is why great tune great tune to start off the album especially for paramore it's it's a paramore song right yeah. I, I was like this album's gonna be sick and the more I listen to it, the more I kind of feel like it was almost like I just felt like it was like, hey, you know what we should just do for the sake of doing? Let's go for like, let's let's do this, right? Like, what's an example I could use? Like, you know, when you're hanging out with your significant other and you're just like, yeah, let's just do a walk just to do something. Mm. I feel like this is what this album is. <laughs> so, um, when, when I first listened to it, I thought it was great. I thought it was amazing. I liked it. So I, I, I don't know whether or not these reviews have been like this, but that's not what we do in this podcast. We listen to this a few times, unless we actually can't stand it to the yeah. point where it's like, I'm never listening to this again. <laughs> um like there were songs on this album that I that I liked. Yeah. I liked um I thought that they would be pretty cool. In fact, I would contemplate if they go on tour, I would go get tickets to go see them. Ooh, okay. Just to see their old stuff, right? Right. More so. Uh but there were songs like like these are one of those albums like I said earlier in this episode that you know, like the top half is better than the bottom half. Right. And and I feel like 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 there's certain songs on the album that just piss me off. Like say come uh say come sa. Ooh, we have differing opinions, but continue, continue. I don't know. Like I, I just feel like it was just a boring song. Oh, intre okay, okay. Yeah, like I, I just felt like say come sa no 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 like I could do thought... that with anything I say. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point you technically could do anything with that weird little yeah like, like i went for a walk no 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 it's like see done i made a song right there i actually like that there. actually mm -hmm. like my my opinion of sekomsa could be my favorite song on the album really it could be because oh. i was like oh, oh this man. is somewhat interesting it's a little bit different from what like paramore normally does like yeah with that song for me compared to everything else was like oh this one stands out whether that's good or bad mm. like it does stand out from the rest of the song so i was like okay this one interesting at least my ears are sort of like paying attention mm. to it see my favorite song on the album was you first okay 
Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good one. That was that was mine because I thought lyrically it was written well. Mm. Like like obviously Haley Williams is older. Like I think she's our age. She's younger, I think. Or younger? I think so. But it, anyways, like so so like like I feel like like I I I liked how that song was like put together lyrically and musically. Thirty four. Um, Thirty four. Okay, so she's a bit older than us, not by much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but 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 i mean uh, again like you know it's funny when i when i listen to see Kun see come soft like i i listened to it once again today and i was like i bet you any money cam is gonna like this song and i and i i don't like it i don't I, i'm not a fan of it <laughs> yeah i mean it's funny that we have differing opinions on that song because that was the one song mm-hmm. i was like oh this is actually like the one song on this album that i actually mm-hmm. enjoy um obviously like this is why which is the opening track that's like a pretty pretty good paramore song Mm -hmm. i i didn't go into this album thinking i'm gonna get a paramore album because like based on their past few releases i was like okay they're definitely like they're not going to be going back to pop punk like they're so far (laughs) past that stage of their life they're i'm pretty sure they're gonna try to distance themselves but there were elements of pop punk in this album uh, which was nice. So, so knowing that, as much as I want a Paramore pop punk album, I knew I wasn't going to get that. So I sort of set my expectations. But the album for me, it just didn't kick enough ass. That was the problem. Like all these songs, sort of, they were nice. Lyrically, they were good. H- Haley Williams, obviously, mm-hmm. is a very good lyricist and a great singer. But like, there wasn't really an interesting guitar part, an interesting drums, like bass no. part. There were instrumentally, there wasn't really anything that interesting. Most of the interesting stuff came from like Haley Williams singing in a certain way or like putting vocal inflections here and there. Um, on like the news or this is why or say Komsa. Like the these songs where she's like doing something different with her voice and what she typically does, I feel like are the stronger songs because those are the only songs that were interesting. But like I don't know the the mm-hmm. whole album was sort of just like okay, it's nice enough, and and that's the thing like I, I feel like I fell into the trap which which I agree with you with a lot of the like people reviewing this album outside of this podcast, <laughs> I, I like like almost just like listen to it the once and we're like oh my god it's amazing right and and the more I listened to it the more I was peeling back these layers I'm like wait a minute. There's nothing special about this song <laughs> at all, right? Like, like I would say the only album that is very Paramore is the first one. This is why. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like, like even even how the lyrics stand for what the band represents. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like, this is why I don't go out, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, like it's almost like 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 I feel like that. Like I feel like you feel like that at be like we're the same age. Like, I feel like, you know, looking at people, like, young people going to the bars, it's just like, I have no interest in going. Like, it's, like, almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> I want to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right? So, like, like I think I really, like, I like, like people who are Paramore fans related to that song, mm. right? But uh, but I don't know whether or not they listened to the full album or they, they did it like I did. Because when I first listened to this, I was in that delusion, like, this is an amazing album. This is awesome. I was, I was, I was actually last episode. I was like, I'm going to give this an eight out of 10. Wow. But I don't even know if that's going to happen now. Oh, wow. So, mm-hmm. okay. Um, before we get into the last ratings and thoughts, uh, just to give background. So just a brief, like what I found online, pitchfork eight out of 10, like all these publications, nine out of mm-hmm. 10, 10 out of 10, a plus a minus, like literally across the board it's universal acclaim for this album and Mm -hmm. i don't i don't know why maybe people are just more accepting that a band doesn't have to be like maybe people are just happy that paramore is now a adult contemporary type of band and not a pop punk band anymore they've broken out of that mold but Mm -hmm. i still don't think the songs in the genre that they are in now they're they're just good like they're not good enough they don't 
do anything. They're not interesting enough. And and it's it's you you hit the nail on the head right there. Like like look at the album cover. What is that like? If you were to just look at this album cover and were to say, "What kind of band is this?" What would you say? It's like a a jazz fusion adult contemporary. That's what it mm-hmm. looks like to me. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. Final thoughts, ratings. What are you gonna give it? I mean, I kind of take back everything. Like like I feel like I shot the gun before I like you know. <laughs> prematurely rated this album like in the last episode so uh i would have to give this like a five out of ten yeah no i'm there with you i'm giving this a four Mm -hmm. out of ten on this Mm -hmm. album it is quite boring (laughs) mediocre (laughs) mediocre (laughs) at best yeah oh man like as much as you know I'm going to be the annoying fan that's like, back in my day, the, this band <laughs> was like, their old stuff was the best stuff. And I'm making mm-hmm. that argument now about this band. Yeah. Their old stuff I agree. was the best stuff. And unfortunately, yeah. that makes me the old man <laughs> that, are, that complains about <laughs> these things. But uh. Uh, if anybody was like, Paramore, what's this band? I'm like, look, people are talking about this new album. Go check out the single. This is why, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, yep, yep. Right, like, like even though my favorite personal song is "You First, I wouldn't be like, "Go check out this song," <laughs> right? I would, I would actually say, "Go check out this is why," because it's more Paramore than anything on this album. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, well, that's unfortunate, but. There you go. That's our that's mm-hmm. our discussion on the album, Paramore's new album, This Is Why. For those of you following along with us every single week, the album that we will be listening to and discussing next week will be Cracker Island by Gorillaz, their brand new album that came out, I think, last week? This week? I don't know. Came out last week. Recently. <laughs> Cracker Island by Gorillaz will be the album we discuss next time. Uh, Eric, we are very close to the end of uh time yes, we at are. this point so we're gonna save the thief for next week we're gonna wrap things up here um thanks for tuning in here at twitch.tv slash the crossroads music podcast uh follow us on uh spotify apple music uh actually it's apple podcast we have a youtube channel now where we're loading up all the videos too um <laughs> but we're here on twitch every uh monday at 10 p.m et 7 p.m pt we're actually here every monday uh for the month of march so you know we're gonna be here consistently uh but absolutely thanks for for everyone joining in um join the discord yell at us anything else <laughs> no like keep listening to music and uh you know enjoy our controversy <laughs> statements about music so <laughs> all right perfect good night everyone and we'll talk to you all next time <laughs>